Welcome back. And instead of waiting a month for a board, I don't know if it works or not. I took my second PD buffer chip, I soldered it up on another board because I have a bunch of them. And uh, what I basically do is that I'm only using a small part of the circuit. I just solder up these parts here and not these two because uh, we don't really need uh, biasing because we are connecting here with a capacitor as they suggest like they suggest in the data sheet so you can barely see the two capacitors there on the input and the input is on the top side of the chip and the outputs are on the bottom side so and uh, we have a picture today so <laughs> It really helped uh, looking at that data sheet. So you can see the checker pattern. I think uh, that this time it will come out on the video on YouTube. So um, the smoothness is fine. Okay. And how about color? The thing about that is uh, you can see the levels are too high. But now it's adjustable, so I'm adjusting it down. There you go. It's a bit high, but uh, okay. This is really nice. So, and uh, we have a proper circuit and the proper voltages coming in on that video buffer. I'm sure this will be really great. You will notice that we have jail bars here. For stripes that's because I removed the stripe fix um, this board doesn't at the moment remove any stripes I'm really happy with this so we'll have to find out how to tweak this um, this pot here and maybe filter it some more because the way I'm taking out the color signal by adjusting this uh, pot and then it goes through a bandpass filter and that bandpass filter is not perfect so we have some noise on it so I'm going to measure it but I'm, I'm sure if I put my probe here I will add some capacitance and then uh, bog down the signal so I don't think that will do any good so if I go further down you get this uh, color killer goes on and off now it's very, it's too much, so, well, there you go, also a note that I'm not having 75 ohm, I have 100 ohm, so that may also be the problem, so, so it's not properly matched, a little bit more, there, I think we we'll have something really nice. So yeah, you know my body is putting some capacitance here and you can see this, these are two capacitors but if you think about it they are really are resistors when it comes to um, alternating current so this uh, signal coming in here is only, uh, it's supposed to be only alternating current so therefore this is a touch divider so if I put my probe here I will add some more uh, picofarads that means um, or yeah more picofarads that means that the uh, impedance or the resistance in the AC will go down no wow no it's a little bit better than I had so so yeah really happy now um, I will try some load something Monitoring tools, so let's try that. I think it comes with sound, so let's have a look. Um, yeah, it looks okay, doesn't it? So, I still a little bit uh, this high frequency stuff in here. I don't know what that is, maybe that's the part of the checker pattern. And I will try some different ICs from um, from uh, Maxim. So I will try different ICs there. And, uh, 
But hold on. Okay, I think I found it. It's a uh, standard definition video reconstruction filters and buffers. The reason why they have three is because one of them is single channel and uh, another is S video and the third is for RGB SCART. And there you can see sixth order low pass filter and uh, that's okay and so it's uh, a sharper filtering and you have four levels of pass band high frequency boost control so that's uh, I'm going to show you what that means okay so let's see what that means there you can see pass band amplitude frequency and you can select different boost modes and uh, yeah, the gain is the same or flat over the frequency range but when you come to like uh, 2, 3 and 4 megahertz uh, up in the end of the spectrum that means where the edges are sharpest on the video signal so and therefore you will have a, a possibility to change the sharpness so, so if you have a dull TV display you can maybe sprite it up a little bit so yeah that will be cool but I think uh, the problem with this is that you need a microcontroller so there you can see it so you need a um, microcontroller to do this because this is a register yeah there you can see how you can signal it in but anyway that's for another time so thank you for watching I'm uh, more happy today than last day. There you have the picture. So, covers are maybe a little bit soft. No. Oh. Looks fine to me. It's really nice. No noise. I can't see any noise that we had before. I had something that always uh, rolled down the screen. So, and the blinking you see now is because of the camera and the screen refresh rate, I think. So, I'm taking a real beating here. <laughs> this game was called uh, Eastwatt. So, why is it better to use a video buffer than the, uh, the transistor parts that I have used? The Jelly Bean BC547 and stuff like that. Because with a uh, proper media buffer or reconstruction filter, for one, you get that filtering, so you get that uh, anti-aliasing. Uh, this TV has a good anti-aliasing filter anyway, so that's not a big problem. But for this TV, but for other devices that may be lacking in the, that part, may benefit from it. So it can be interesting if this can be tested with those cheapo um, VGA converters. And uh, the second part is very important, and that is when you amplify the signal, um, you don't want a noisy power supply rail. And you don't want that noisy power supply rail to come onto your signal. Uh, if you look at this, you can see that I'm using 5 volt to drive this transistor, which again drives the Luma out. But if I do that, some of the noise on this uh, rail will come through here. So, But with a big video buffer, you have something called uh, power supply rejection ratio. And it's, uh, I think it was 60 decibel rejection. So uh, even if you have a noisy computer, or a voltage on a computer, and it's not very noisy because uh, we have this regulator, but some high frequency noise will come through it so yep then it will uh, come out on the uh, cable and onto the TV so therefore it is a good uh, idea to have a video buffer that uh, can uh, condition the signal without adding more noise so yeah so so bye bye